All right, so in this video, I want to do something absolutely crazy. I want to go from this photo to something similar to this, which is crazy, like a black and white fun art, you know, with elephants and make it really cool. So let's get started. Bonjour, mesdames and messieurs. My name is Serge Remy. I'm a French photographer living in the USA, but from the amazing city of Paris, France. I make two or three videos a week and I love teaching photography. I specialize in cityscape. I've done seven coffee table books and my work is in over 120 galleries around the world. All right, so I was in South Africa shooting elephants close to the Kruger Park and all these elephants showed up and I was like, I was, my mind was blown away. So the first thing we're gonna do is because the light was not great, but the sky was very interesting, we're gonna make it into a black and white. So I'm gonna go to black and white, which at first looks not so great. And um, I think I'm going to open a shadow and I'm gonna do my natural drama formula, which is first exposure, okay? So I'm gonna take care of the exposure, I'm gonna open the shadow and I'm gonna bring down the highlights, which is gonna make the photo look like very washed out. But then, then, mesdames et messieurs, absolutely crazy, I'm gonna hold on the option key and I'm gonna lower the blacks until I see some blacks. And what you see here are pixel, which are 100%, 100% black. Not crazy, absolutely nuts. And now I'm going to boost the whites a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, and the next thing I need to do is the white balance. Now you say white balance, it's black and white, but check this out. If you move the, the blue, you actually get a completely different black and white. I, and actually, if you go to the right, it makes everything kind of brighter because there was a lot of blue. If I go to the left, I get a much more dense sky. So. That's step number two, is the white balance. Step number three is refining colors. This, we cannot do this step on black and white. So we can go step to number four. And this step number four is doing the dodge and burn. So I'm gonna crop this and I'm gonna dodge and burn this photo because I, I wanted a little bit less sky or maybe, you know what? Actually the sky is more interesting than the, I'm gonna try something. Uh, well, maybe not because I wanna add, oh, why not? Well, well, well no, 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 no. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go, because I I'm gonna add a river here in Photoshop later on, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in Photoshop beta, it's kind of crazy. It doesn't wo always work, but anyway. So on this one, I'm gonna create a gradient here. So what I went here, I clicked here, I went to uh, linear gradient, and I click and drag, and you see here it's in red at first, and then I'm gonna lower the exposure, okay? And that value here, that minus 0.62, is gonna be in full force from the top of the photo to the red dot, and from the red dot all the way to the white dot is gonna be on a gradient, okay? I'm going to actually do a lot more than that. I wanna darken the sky several times. So I'm gonna do something like that. And then I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna take another gradient and I'm gonna darken something like that. All right. Voila. Okay. And then I'm gonna go down again to linear gradient. And I wanna make this a bit darker like this. The whole idea is I wanna focus the attention here on, on the elephants, okay? And that's kind of cool and I'm already loving this. Look at the before and after, I'm loving this, but let's go crazy, okay? So you need to install Photoshop beta. For this, you, know, you need to go to the Creative Cloud and to the beta section and install Photoshop beta. And then you need to make sure that it, it runs in memory. So I'm gonna to go to Photoshop beta and it's in memory here, boom. You can see here, this is a photo from a friend of mine. And uh, I'm gonna, so Photoshop beta is running in memory, as you can see here. I'm gonna go, go back to Lightroom, I'm gonna right click, edit, Photoshop 2023. And because beta is already running, click in Adobe Photoshop beta. If you have trouble with uh, communicating between Lightroom and Photoshop beta, make sure you use, I'm using 24.7 release, okay? Try, this, this release works really well and I'm using Lightroom about Lightroom 12.4 at the time of this video. Make sure you subscribe, I have an incredible video coming out on how to retouch a crazy sky in Los Angeles, one of my most crazy sky ever. You know, it's hard to do a good sunset. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on this video and leave me a comment, tell me what you like to learn. I read every single comment, it inspires me to do videos. I try to do two, three videos a week to help you guys take your photography to the next level. Anyways, so once you're in Photoshop beta, check this out, this is gonna be crazy. Are you ready for some voodoo? I'm gonna take the lasso tool here and I'm gonna go here because I don't like that tree. It's a, sort of a dead tree. So I'm gonna make a selection here with the lasso tool. 
add an African tree. The photo is gonna to go to, you need to make sure you have an internet connection. It's gonna to go to Adobe server. There's like 1000 engineers and they're gonna create a tree and send you the photo back. Now they're using AI to do that. It doesn't always work. You, get, you can get some really weird result, but sometimes it does work. Look at that. And you got three variation, tree number one, tree number two, tree number three. Ooh, I like tree number two or number one. Oh, number two is even nicer. Look at that, it's actually perfect. And I'm like, I'd like to have a river as a leading line to the tree, so let's try that. Not sure it's gonna work. I'm just gonna go here and say, add a river. Add a river. Make sure you don't make any typo, because if you make any typo, the AI is not gonna have fun. The river, I had to do a lot of trial and error before it worked. Uh, it didn't always work. But I, I, I did because I tested this photo before. Yeah, you see, it does something weird. It doesn't add a river. So when it does that, okay, you can erase this and let's just say, I'm gonna make this bigger, add a pound. Pound is like a little bit of water. Wow, we see the reflection. It's not so bad, but it's a bit too, too big. Huh? why not? Yeah, that's not so bad. I don't really like what it did, so let, let's generate. If you click on generate here in the property tab, and if you don't see the property tab, you go to windows and make sure the property tab is open. Uh, it's gonna create three more, three more alternative with the same common prompt. So let's see here. Ooh, I like that. I don't know which one I like the most. I think, I think I like that a lot. It's just, I like that a lot, but here it's very confused. So maybe we can use this mask here and just uh, go with black and take, put that back how it was. Cause I don't like what it does here, but I like what it does there. That's kind of cool. You see, it just, you know, it sort of filled a little bit this part here with a bit of water. I also did it to show you how crazy, you know, I can mask that out. How crazy, uh, you know, this this AI thing is. Now, one thing I tried to do, which didn't work well, I said, add a flock of birds. You see, it does weird result on, on the flock of birds. Yeah, so that, 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 that didn't work. And so what I ended up doing is I use a file. Okay, I'll give you a trick. If you go to pixabay.com, it's a free website, and you type flock of birds, and then I like these birds here, they're pretty cool. Or like maybe this one, they're pretty cool. And oh, no, you gotta make sure because this one is, I think this one is nicer. Sometimes this is gonna lead to like sponsored images where you have to pay. You maybe have to log in, but these ones are free. I kind of like this one. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna log in really quick. Okay, I'm gonna download this one. I'm gonna download like, uh, yeah, that resolution, that should be good. You can donate if you want. I'm gonna put it on, 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 the, on my desktop. And once you have it on the desktop, I'll show you something cool. So once you have it on your desktop, you can just go to your finder and you can just drag and drop the PNG over. And then I'm going, and it, it creates a smart object. And I want them to fly the other way. So I'm gonna flip vertical. No, sorry, flip horizontal. And, uh, but there are two, the birds are too sharp for this photo. So what I'm gonna do is, well, first, no, I think I'm gonna make them much smaller, much smaller. And then I'm gonna lower the opacity so they blend with the sky. You know, so they are in the sky a little bit. And I think there's too much birds, maybe make it a bit bigger. It's too much birds. So what you can do is you can add a mask and um, take a brush. And I think I'm gonna just erase some of them. Black brush, just keep a few. Just wanted to have a few birds, something like that, just to, you know, fill in a bit of the sky. All right, guys, see you in the next video.